<clears throat> Alright, ready? Yeah. Alright. So in this video, we're not doing any intro, nothing like that. We're just gonna get straight into talking, and it's mm -hmm. just gonna be a video where we basically just speak our minds. There's not much of a plan. We have a general idea about what we're gonna talk about, mm -hmm. but we're just gonna talk about what we're thinking right now. And basically what we're going through in our businesses and in our lives right now, because mm -hmm. there's a lot to learn from it. Mm -hmm. So what I wanna start by saying is today is December 22nd. It's the last week of December. So that means New Year's coming up in like 10 days, 2019 coming up. And I just know ev everyone's super excited about it, which is good. Fuck yeah, you should F be. Fuck yeah. Like 2019 is going to be a fucking year. Yep. And if you, th you say it's going to be your year, fuck yeah. Hell yep. yeah. So the reason we says, say that is because we've seen in our comments section, everyone's talking about shit like that. Like, uh, I'm so excited for 2019. 2019 is going to change my life. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm just going to change my life in 2019. And it's that, different. 2019 is going to be different. That's, that's the general theme. 2019 is going to be different, which is an amazing way to think, which you, you should definitely think. You should definitely say that. You should definitely build that, uh, that frame for 2019. And we and feel the exact same way. We feel way. the exact same way. We feel the exact same way. So, but really what it comes down to is what was your life like? 12 months ago, the last week of December in 2017, were you saying the exact same shit? Were you saying that 2018 is the year everything changes? 2018 is gonna be my year. Now most people, including us, were saying exactly that. I think most people were saying that. Mm -hmm. And that's a natural way, to we natural way to be. That's just how you think. And it's good to be that way. But the thing is, if you were saying it last year, 12 months ago, end of 2017, how was 2018? Was 2018 what it was supposed to be? Was 2018 that year that changed everything? For us, it was. 2018 changed our lives. Was it for you? And the reason I ask is because, this is very important, going into 2019, if you're saying the same shit and you don't do anything differently than you did in 2018, you're gonna be in the exact same fucking place as you are right now at the end of 2019. Uh, last year, well, sorry, let me just finish my rant. Last year, uh, sorry, last week of 2019, you're gonna be saying the exact same shit. 2020 is gonna be my year. 2020 is gonna change my life. If you don't do anything differently, it's gonna be the exact same shit. So uh, you can piggyback off that, but it comes down to you have to change. You have to change massively yeah. with the way you operate. Yeah. I wanna say you have to consciously make a massive difference in and mm -hmm. in, in the way you operate is kind of what's what we've realized in the last week so like what? we had like i've been very humbled in the last week or so should we transition yes. into that now yeah yeah so i've been very humbled in the last week or so mm -hmm. from thinking before like fuck yeah i'm the fucking man i'm mm -hmm. doing so well mm -hmm. and then you kind of realize really it's from seeing others seeing others what they're doing and they're having success that, that I want and I don't have right now. And I'm kind of thinking like, it'll come. I just gotta, maybe you're doing it longer than me, but mm -hmm. it'll come, I just gotta keep doing this. But that's not the case. And because I see the way that they actually work their day to day. And I'm not, I'm not operating like them. Mm -hmm. I'm not acting, like my actions don't represent uh, a, seven, a seven figure business owner. Mm -hmm. You know, because I've been seeing what that actually looks like and it's completely different than what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. So, uh, can I talk? Yeah. Take it back off of that. Yeah. Like you were saying, for me, it's been like in the past 48 to 72 hours. I, this is why we're making the video. I've had a massive mindset shift or a paradigm shift in everything that I believe in. Basically, I swear my identity has changed in the past 48 hours. And it's gone from, I thought I was the fucking man. I was doing really well. I'm making progress. Like I'm getting towards living my dreams. But now, um, I've been completely humbled and now I feel like, this is how I feel about myself now, but it's not a bad way. I feel like I ain't shit right now. I feel like I ain't shit. And this is just in business. We're talking about business because since we came to Bali, we've both made massive amounts of progress in self-development in ourselves outside of business. But, um, Inside of business, we've plateaued. We've plateaued, and, and, and it's time and, to admit the fact that we've plateaued for the past three months, and we've actually regressed. Yeah. The numbers show that we've regressed. Now, in a, a bunch of different aspects. So, in subscribers, now see, it's not just about subscribers and money. 
but those are numbers that we can show to prove that we're going backwards right now. So subscribers have gone down every month for like four straight months. Uh, revenue across everything has gone down for like three straight months. And it's time to accept the fact that we've pl plateaued in business and regressed. But I, and I know exactly why. Like I'm, I have the self-awareness to look at myself and be like, I'm not doing what the fuck it takes. Cause no. for the last three months, I've been dreaming about what I want, what I want to do for the next year. But I've been doing the same things. Mm -hmm. Like it, it, I'm not going to achieve what I want if I just keep doing the same thing over and mm -hmm. over. Like that will only take you to a certain level, which it did. But then we're just going to stay at that level if we don't do anything different. We need to change the core of who we are and how we operate on a daily basis. Yeah. That's that's what I'm realizing. Yeah. But like I, I've been soup. I I've been very complacent the last two, since we came to Bali, mm -hmm. and it's been fair. At least what I've been telling myself is that. We're, we're moving to Bali. Let me fucking enjoy myself a little bit, mm -hmm. which I have, and it's mm -hmm. been amazing. Mm -hmm. And like, we've built a core of like friends and network here, mm -hmm. and like, which is that's great. been really important. Mm -hmm. Like, that's been really important. Mm -hmm. So like, I'm not, I'm not beating myself up too much. Mm -hmm. You know, like we need, we need to do that. Um, mm -hmm. And we have, but now it's time to, now it's time to fucking move on. Yeah. No, and, and actually really get to work, like real fucking work. And I want to say we always talk about like the the level up moves thing, right? Mm -hmm. But we're not doing that. We keep doing the same thing. Because I remember we did have a level up move, and that was creating the booster program. Mm -hmm. right? So we did that, and that was great. And OK, it, it helps. It, uh, we were providing more value for people, and mm -hmm. we we're making more money because of it. Mm -hmm. But then, then like, OK, we did that. We're, and then it's, then it's like, oh, we did that. OK, I did my level up move. Now I don't have to. Yeah. Now I can, now I can just chill, because I did what I But no, it, like, as soon as you're done, you have to do it again. You have to go mm -hmm. on to the next thing. And mm -hmm. we haven't done that. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's like the past two weeks, like I've been working a lot of hours. I've been, I've, I've been like, uh, yeah, I really have been like a, a grind mode type of thing. But it's hard to admit and just realize the fact that what I've been doing has not been the right fucking things. Because the results aren't showing, the results aren't there. So we need to change something. Um, now, yeah, I'm working on things. I'm adding like email sequences, uh, talking to people, Facebook uh, group, helping our clients engaging, and shit like that, engaging, making YouTube videos, all this shit. But it's not anything that's helping us grow, not helping the business grow. Cause we've been going backwards. Uh, and that's been really hard to admit. Like this morning, me and Rasmus literally like a, a had really a deep talk. Yeah, we had a, a deep talk about like, this shit is unacceptable. No more fucking around. Like, and it's not, we haven't been fucking around and like not working. No. We've been working. Yeah, I've been working my ass off like I have like in terms of uh, my mental capabilities and like the hours yes I have but, what we're but doing it's, in those bu hours? it's bullshit that what I'm working on mm -hmm. but I thought that I thought these were the important things I thought these were my priorities but um, th th this is one thing but that they I aren't because we're not going forward in the business so they clearly aren't this is one thing that I've learned that it's it's not the hours you put in and it's also not so much the, how productive are you in those hours. No, it's, it's not. The actual, it's, it's a the layer deeper. things that you're doing in those hours. It's a layer deeper. Like are you spending are you spending 80 hours writing writing a book that you're going to release and make 10 bucks cuz no one's actually ever going to read it? Mm -hmm. Or could you spend that time you can spend 1 hour and you meet the right person that changes your life. Mm -hmm. Even though you, you did less work but you did something that's going to change your life 100 times more. Mm -hmm. You know? So we're trying to find what is that thing? Um, that's gonna change our life and it's not just fucking busy work. I hate busy work. It's no, stupid and it's no. a waste of time and we've been wasting time with it. Yeah um, So it really yeah, no everything has fucking changed for me I've been humbled by these other people who are who have the results that I want mm -hmm. and I'm not fucking getting there I've almost Recently, I've almost convinced myself and also been convinced by others because people have been telling me Relax, like enjoy. don't just be yeah, don't just be so focused on work all the you're time. Young. Yeah, you're young, enjoy yourself, you're in Bali, you're doing good, everything. I've almost or no, I had been convinced by others and convinced myself that everything's okay. That the way things have been going the past few months is okay. When the reality is that it isn't. It's not okay. Because I'm uh, I'm not gonna get to where I wanna be I'm if just this not, continues. I'm just not acting like the ambitious person that I think I am and that I say I am. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So it's, it's straight up been a fucking business plateau for the past three, four months. Um, so yeah. Uh, can I talk about one particular person that has humbled me like crazy? Yeah, b both of us. Yeah. Yeah. So, so there, there's this uh, entrepreneur on YouTube. His name's Iman Gadzi. Perhaps you've heard of him. Perhaps you haven't. He lives here in Chengdu. Mm -hmm. And 
Christian was Ryan's bike. I was on the back because I have a broken hand. By the way, I have a brace on now. Um, I, I just saw him, right? And then I yelled his fucking name, Iman! Like, holy shit, like, because I really look up to him. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, this is a guy we've just started following uh, in the past month. Yeah. Simply because I've been watching all of his shit. He ran ads to us, and then that's how we found him. Mm-hmm. So, like, now I'm super into his shit. Mm-hmm. I'm blown away by this guy. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and then and then he looked back. He was like, yeah, hell yeah. And then Christian pulled over. He recognized us because we've chatted on Instagram. Yeah, very brief, very briefly. Now yeah, well, I got to him, like, oh, dude. I just want to say hi. You're a fucking badass motherfucker. He's the one that's humbled me. Right? Yeah, no, straight up. Like, I just, I've been watching all of his videos and what he does and how he acts. Like, it's not just like, oh, he, he is a good business model. Shit. Mm-hmm. Like, it's the way he is. Mm-hmm. He just acts like, he acts like a future billionaire. Yeah. You know? And here's the thing. No, and I look at myself, I'm not, I'm not doing this. He's doing this, 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 this to improve himself, to get ready to be more productive. I'm not doing any of those things. Mm-hmm. It's no wonder he's having the results he is. And here's the craziest fucking part. Here's what's humbled me the most. Yeah. He's 18 years old. Yep. He is 18 years old. Mm-hmm. I, he's honestly one of the most, I mean, 200K a month is his hygiene standard in yeah. his business. He's honestly one, one of the most impressive people I've I've seen for that reason. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like he, ta- he talks like, he talks that he's been doing this shit for 20 years. Yeah. And and so, uh, so what I realized he, from that... He has the mind of like a 45-year-old, highly experienced entrepreneur, and he's 18 yeah. years old. So what all this stems from is realizing that deep down, the people that we are are people that are not ready to make 100K a month. Because we, we need to change. We always talk about the one percenters and the civilians, right? Mm-hmm. When I look at him, I'm a fucking civilian. Yeah. I'm so, like, I'm, I don't deserve shit, yeah. you know? It's, I don't deserve what the fuck he has. Yeah. I can't just wish it and I want it. Like, I'm not doing anything that, that represents having that. Yeah. So the thing is, like, our whole life leading up to Bali, we've been living around people that uh, don't have the results that we have. So that's why I always thought, oh, I'm the fucking man. I'm doing... I'm doing better. I have all of this shit going for me and everything. But then you come here uh, and then you meet other people who like, it's just, you, you got to forget about people who aren't on your level. Mm-hmm. You have to start only imagining the, the world of these super successful people. You, and then, you, and then, so, and then I look at them and I literally feel like a peasant. You, you hear this, like what well, some advice that you always get, it's good to be like, to feel like the bitch in the room. Mm-hmm. Like everyone else is better than you. Mm-hmm. And now that we're trying it, it feels weird, but oh my, I've just learned so much. Like, mm-hmm. like you said, a complete fucking paradigm shift in my mind. Yeah. Like I'm just not. I'm not that kind of person. Like I need to change as a person. I can't walk that. with my chest out anymore. No. Not around these people. Fuck no. Yeah. No. And um, these are people that I want to be around. And it's like, it's amazing the power that it is being around other successful people. Like the, mm-hmm. you are the top five people that you hang around with. Uh-huh. The average of the five people you hang around with. Uh-huh. I feel that. Uh-huh. I feel that. I, like, I am not there, but I feel like constantly feeling like this and being so motivated by these people is going to bring me uh-huh. to that yeah. level. I, I want to end on one point about just what I was telling you before about how your mindset, this is real shit, okay? Like, I don't care people that talk about mindset and how uh, it's just some, some nonsense to get people to buy your course or whatever. Like, mindset is everything. It's literally everything everything in terms of getting success everything um your mindset dictate that takes your ash well let me just explain things yeah so let me just explain uh it was laid out visually for me very well earlier today by a guy named sam ovens he had this video and he if you don't know who sam ovens yeah so he's also one of the most impressive entrepreneurs Mm -hmm. still very young yeah so he wrote this equation Uh, the equation was there's there's person a plus I, I stands for information. Information can be a course, uh, it can be a, any sort of information. Let's say a course. So person A plus course, well information, equals massive success. And then there's person B plus the exact same information, the exact same course, the exact same everything, equals massive failure, okay? So these two people have the exact same resources and they get polar opposite results. And then, so the, uh, what's the opposite of a variable? The constant mm-hmm. is the information. It's the exact same, so it can be canceled out. That's just, the, that's just a law of the universe, okay? And then these two people, their height 
skin color, gender, uh, ev anything, eye color does not come into play when it comes to what they do with the information. It doesn't fucking matter. So it's the only thing that matters is their brains. That's the only thing that's different about these two people. Otherwise, they're clone copies of each other. Is the only thing different is their brains. Um, and then what they do with that information. So that basically proves that person A equals massively successful and then, or their, their mind, and then pers person B's mindset equals a massive failure. Because the mind the and the mindset dictate, dictates their actions and what yeah. they do. That's the only variable in the equation. Mm -hmm. The mindset is literally everything. And to break it out in a different way is like, your results stem from the actions that you make. The actions that you make stem from your thoughts. And your thoughts come from your mind. A equals B, Pythagorean theorem, whatever the fuck it is. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Is that the end of this rant? So I want to end this video talking about, well, mentioning how you guys can like relate this to yourselves. I think the big takeaway is that you have to be able to look at yourself from a third person perspective. Third person perspective, and tell yourself like I'm not, like I'm fucking up. Really take, take massive amounts of responsibility. Mm. And I, I'm fucking up. Like we're, I'm saying to myself, like I'm fucking. I'm not doing what I have to be doing right now. The way I I say it is, look at yourself, and like realize. I think 99% of people can say this is like, I'm not doing enough. I'm not doing what it takes. I'm not doing enough. Oh fuck, it's not working. This business sucks. Mm -hmm. No, it's because you're not doing what it takes to actually succeed with that business. Yeah. No, that's how it is. Without, like that's a massive realization we've had. And just because you're making progress and having results does not mean you're doing enough. That's not enough. Um, I'll say 99% of people are not doing enough. Us included, so hard. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm so the most guilty of that. Uh, we can't talk about it now, but shit, I wanna make a separate video just talking about where we've been fucking up. Like, what kind of fuck ups I've been, like how I've been mm -hmm. doing, how I've been working and operating. Mm -hmm. And it's just not conducive of, of the results that I want. Mm -hmm. anyway. I mean, on the surface, it looks like yeah, we're, we're working hard. I know it does. But you they, feel they, a layer see, oh, deeper. They're coming out videos every, every other day. Yeah, we are. Our book publishing business is growing. But I want more. Like I can't just be growing a book publishing business and a YouTube channel so slow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. All right. In the comment section, are you doing enough? Are you doing everything you need to be doing right now? We are not. Mm -hmm. You have goals in your head for 2019. Yeah. Are you going to be doing what it actually takes to achieve those goals? Yeah. I know a lot of people are not doing enough. Mm -hmm. So that's what it is. God, this, Mag this Mag is good to talk about because like, yeah, shit's going to change now. Get it off my chest. It's going to fucking change It now. fucking better change. So looking at this guy, Amon Gazi, has just motivated me so much. Just from Guys, a point. Pl please check him out and learn from him. Yeah. Like, like, just what an incredible role model he is at his age. When he's so young, you know, mm -hmm. and he has the success that he has. It's not because, oh, he's been building for 20 years. Well, of course you have that kind of success over time. Mm -hmm. He's been doing it for such a short period of time. That can only be attributed to the actions he's taking. Mm -hmm. He's just doing it so fucking efficiently and the right fucking way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, it's just because if we don't change, this is we're going to keep on going down and down and down and regressing in the business. You uh, have to do new shit that, if you want to level the fuck up. Yeah. Doing that. Yeah. So, okay, magic emoji of the day is the brain emoji because your brain is fucking everything. Your mindset is everything and getting what you want. It's another thing people don't realize. You can, if someone else has it, you can have it as well. It's true. It's true. Stop fucking thinking you can't have all these things. End it on that. Goodbye. You got to do what it takes.